everybody, it is Friday morning and I'm just having my breakfast. This has been like my go-to breakfast for a while now. Avocados, poached eggs, roasted cherry tomatoes, which aren't roasted enough, <laughs> and orange juice, but oh, it's just so delicious. I think it's worth spending time on breakfast, it's so nice. So I'm actually working from 10 till 4 today. I think it's because bank holiday weekend, I think they think it's going to be really busy, so I'm just kind of covering a little bit of a lunch shift. I wouldn't usually do a four-hour shift, but... Uh... I am today apparently. It's 11.15 now and I'm just a bit early so I thought I'd just read a bit more of my book which I'm really enjoying actually. It hasn't got to like a mentally asylum part yet. Uh, or maybe it has and I just don't know about it. Ooh, But um, but it is good. It's taking me quite a while to read. I'm only there. Mm. Oh my god also so I forgot to tell you a really funny story that happened last night. Berlioz came in at like 11 o'clock at night. I, let, I went and let him in and he ran straight upstairs so I kind of thought nothing of it. And then I went back to bed and I was like in the dark and he would not stop meowing, like wouldn't stop. And I was like, what on earth? He's never done this before. And I thought maybe he'd been hurt. So I turned the lights on and was like, oh my God, what's wrong? Are you okay? And he had this little baby mouse and I was like, oh my God, here we go. So I went to grab it and he like took it and brought it down to the kitchen. I come into the kitchen. There's the biggest slug I've ever seen on my life, in my life, on the kitchen floor. And then in the corner, this little mouse is like dead. And I was like, oh my god. Anyway, I took a Snapchat. Turns out the mouse wasn't dead. I tried to pick it up with tissues and I, it like twitched. And I, oh my god, I just felt awful. Like, I would have rather put it out with misery because I hate the idea of it there being tortured and being still alive. It was probably in agony and really suffering. But I just didn't know how to do it. So I kind of grabbed it by the tail and I threw it out the window. But I took a Snapchat, so I'll pop it here so you can see what happened. Ooh. Love him. Oh, poor mouse. Oh my god, it's still alive. Oh. Right, time for work. See you in four hours. Hi guys, not only am I back from work, that was a few hours ago, it's actually 7 o'clock now, but I'm going to go for a swim. I've wanted to go swimming for a while now, because uh, it's been like such nice weather and stuff, but I just feel like today I've got loads in my head and I had nothing to do and no friends to see and I just want to get out of the house and I don't want to spend the evening here. So I think I'll just go for a swim, get some exercise and just kind of like empty my brain for an hour, <laughs> just be by myself and like think about stuff without just being bored at home. Uh, yeah. But I'm excited, I haven't been swimming in so long. I've got my swimming cosy on under here. Woohoo! <laughs> and I'll see you afterwards. Swim is done and there is a thunder and lightning storm going on. I just had to run back to my car in the rain, but it didn't really matter because I'm wet anyway. I love that. There's some huge windows in the in the swimming pool. So as I was swimming, I was watching all the lightning, which was amazing. I love the rain. I love the sound of it. That was good, that swim was fun, I feel like it cleared my head, got some exercise on my legs. It's just nice to get out of the house and do some exercise really. <sighs> Let's go home. I'm home and showered now, I'm just eating my banana in bed, I'm going to edit this vlog and go to sleep because I've got work again at 9 in the morning so... That's fun. <laughs> and thank you for watching this vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to see tomorrow. And I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.